And of course, we have our own rain chances that we're watching out for this week. Meteorologist Robert Sir back now with the get ready weather forecast. What's the timing of this and how much rain are we talking about? Not a ton of rain, nothing like what they saw in California, but they can't stress enough how badly they need every right. drop that fell. But we are tracking some rain for our Wednesday. It's pretty much the rainiest day of the week. Take you out across the region. You can see Springdale. The flags aren't blowing as much as they were last hour because the sun has gone down. We've lost some of that daytime heating, the mixing of the atmosphere, so the winds have really started to subside. Sunset wrapping up. Uh, you can see a star there as we look out over uh, gorgeous Table Rock Lake and across uh, Poto there, Cavanaugh Hill. Also, you can see some stars uh, poking through because we've got crystal clear skies out there, and that will allow temperatures to fall pretty quickly here. Still in the 60s across northwest Arkansas uh, and in the River Valley. Also, we've got some upper 60s, had some 70s last hour, but uh, we've got about, we'll drop about 30 degrees tonight, so quite the difference here. Winds are finally subsiding. Gusts pretty much not a problem uh, anymore, and they won't be for the rest of the night. We got a weak frontal boundary that's crossing the area. Really won't do much for our temperatures. Uh, you won't even notice that it crossed, but skies will be clear tonight and clear for the first half of tomorrow morning. But as we go through the day on Tuesday, clouds will quickly be back on the increase ahead of our next weather maker that it will begin to spread rainfall into the area Wednesday morning. Most likely just after sunrise, we'll start to see a few scattered showers. But as we get closer to the lunch hour, that's when we'll see more widespread activity. And there could be a rumble of thunder in there as well, but we're not expecting any uh, severe weather or so. And as this front will cross, that's when we'll really start to see temperatures fall back to where they should be for this time of the year. In terms of the severe aspect, you've got to get well to our south and east, uh, basically south and east of Interstate 30 here to worry about isolated to scattered severe storms. For our area, we're talking about just general chances for thunderstorms, nothing on the order of uh, anything that's strong to severe. And in terms of the amount of rain that could fall, about a quarter to perhaps in some isolated spots, a half inch or three quarters of an inch, not a ton of rain. You got to get much further to our east to really worry about uh, big time rainfall amounts. We're also watching a, a very rare anomaly in the Pacific, in the Atlantic Ocean. This is Invest 90L, which is basically an area that the National Hurricane Center is invested in to get additional data from. Surely looks like a tropical system really is trying to develop here with this cutoff area of low pressure. If it does gain tropical characteristics and gets a name, it would just be the third ever tropical system to form in January in the Atlantic. That is really rare stuff. But for us, we we'll don't have to worry about tropical systems anytime soon into the 30s and 40s tonight, and we'll rebound tomorrow. Another warm day, 60s and 70s, a degree or two cooler than we were uh, today, actually. And then there's Wednesday with those rainfall chances. Yeah, throughout the day, it looks like a very wet day. And then we start to cool off as we go through the rest of the week. Temperatures back to where uh, more seasonable values before a couple of sprinkles Saturday night and into Sunday. Uh, same thing here in the River Valley. A very pleasant day tomorrow despite the increase in cloud cover, rain and maybe a few rumbles of thunder Wednesday. Back towards seasonable values to round out the week. Weekend as a whole doesn't look too bad besides a couple of sprinkles Saturday night into Sunday. And even Monday doesn't look bad as we have a high in the mid 50s. Now, yesterday, Darby uh, forecasted for barley, a temperature of 50, it got up to 52. Or actually, that was Saturday is what uh, Darby forecasted. But regardless, Cynthia from Fayetteville is going to get the Darby by the umbrella. And then Brandon will take you to Hartman, which is in Johnson County tomorrow, where we'll have a nice, comfortable high of 68. All right. Thank you, Robert.